Hey there, I'm Sarah Hall. Ever since I can remember, the only thing I've loved more than sipping a good cup of coffee or basking in the Florida sunshine is listening to great stories. Now I'm looking to make my own splash on the big screen by telling a few stories of my own. In this series, you'll watch me take on one of the biggest challenges in the industry to make my first feature film. With only $5,000 in the bank, I'm setting out to do what some would think impossible and inviting you to come along for the ride. This is Film From Scratch. We have some good news, you guys. I got an email back. The guy who will officially be playing the lead role for the feature film, so I'm super excited about that. He said he accepts the offer. He's happy that he that I cast him. All these are good things. Now I am just trying to set up a call with him tomorrow. We're shooting for tomorrow evening where I'm going to go over with him all of the logistics of the contracts and making it official legally. And now we're just moving on to the rest of the cast, finishing more auditions and casting the rest of the actors. We'll get back to you guys as soon as we hear something more. Okay guys, it is 10.30 a.m. I'm actually getting ready to go have brunch with my sister. I just want to update you guys though. I have some good news. Really everything is a patience waiting game at this point. Last night I actually heard back from some of our female cast members for the other lead role. Actually, I've been talking to this one candidate. I'm a little concerned that she looks a little too young. We're working on getting her to do an audition with her hair and makeup can be done differently and so I and see if she's really good for the part. I'm actually getting ready to send her this information to go ahead and audition with a few other instructions based on her looks. I'm gonna send her that email and then go head out to breakfast, come back, and today hopefully I am actually signing the contract with our lead role for the male part. I'll update you guys as soon as I have something else to, to share. Real talk. I'm actually like sweating right now. <laughs> that was a very interesting long conversation with the lead role cast member. He is good to go. He thinks everything's good with the contracts. He said he's gonna sign them as soon as he gets back home today, scan them back over to me. That's all great. However, there were some things that were brought up that I had the answers to, but you know, he was explaining this behind the scenes process and the footage is different. It's something that everyone has to wrap their head around. He, um, <laughs> he was a little hesitant to agree to something like this. He wasn't, he didn't sound too like optimistic or happy about like having, basically not having a camera in his face for the behind the scenes stuff while we're also trying to film an actual film, uh, the feature which I'm totally fine with, but it's just something I have to be aware of that some people, you know, may not be comfortable with that. It may be a lot going on. The goal now is to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a note to talk to the crew members when we're on set and make sure that everyone is respectful of everyone's space and their process. And this camera, you know, only has certain places that it can go on set, certain things, you know, dealing with more of the technical side of things. We're probably gonna lean towards not making it as much of a reality show, but more of just a documentary type style. So that was something I had to walk him through. We got on a Zoom call and talked about it. We talked a little bit about the script. Overall, it was good. We got one down, one actor on board, you know, we're signing the contracts, everything's official now. I have a lot of other people still to cast. I, I actually have to go look at some auditions right now and that's pretty much it. That's all for now. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes take on a prop that just came in the mail. Today is Thursday, it's about 4 o'clock. So this morning I was doing some other work, but then this came in the mail. In the script, one of the child actors is going to be dropping a glass of water. And the glass is going to shatter on the ground. And we have to also film her on the ground in pain with like a shattered glass around her. I'm testing this out. This right here is kind of a backup 
This is actually rubber glass. You may have to zoom in a little bit. I have someone helping me with the camera today. So this is just basically, it feels kind of like silicone to me. It's very flexible. It's supposed to be what, what they call rubber glass. So this is obviously something that's safe. The actors can be around it. They can step on it, touch it. It's not gonna hurt them. This costs about $15 called breakaway glass and apparently this is like the i think it's called breakaway because it's the major company that makes this kind so they have other stuff too but this is a it's considered a tumbler glass so i guess this would be used more like for alcohol drinks but we're gonna see if this works it's not bad for 15 dollars, but there's actually you see how one side is more curved and the other side is kind of bent so you can tell this has been put in a mold so apparently they make this stuff with a very thin like resin and you can actually make this kind of stuff at home with like sugar and different chemicals i want to actually see if water can go in here because in the scene the child has to put water in the glass. It also has a weird smell to it, but that's okay. So yeah, it seems to be holding water pretty good. So that works. This looks good for now, but basically I'm doing this because I'm gonna send this footage to my DP just to review how this is gonna break on the ground. It'll give her an idea of how we're going to actually film this because unless we buy like four of these, you know, this is kind of like a one take kind of prop. So I'm going to stand like right here. So I guess like in this area is where I'm going to drop it. We're going to see if this actually works and what it looks like once it's broken. All right. One, two. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, that definitely broke like everywhere. It, it's actually good because it broke more like a real glass. Like it's all over. It's underneath the table now. I'm just gonna see like how hard. Yeah, see if somebody were to step on it, it's gonna break instantly because I just put my hand over it and it's not cut or anything like that. So like even here, like the sharp edge, like that's actually, if someone, that's actually really sharp. So that could be a potential, like we don't want anyone stepping on the glass once it's, it's here, but it does break very easily compared to regular glass. So still safer than a regular glass, I would guess. But so it works, uh, the breakaway glass works. I'm gonna send this to my DP just so she knows what we're working with. This is kind of the only stunt, if you will, in the script that could be a safety hazard. I'll check back in with you guys uh, later, okay? Good morning. Uh, that was the number of days uh, we officially have until we start filming. 52 days. Today is May 24th. It is about 10, 15 or so in the morning and I have a lot to do. I've been out of town for a couple days. I was working, however, while I was out of town. Some exciting news is I actually, last week, I had to get on some calls with some of the child actors and the good news is I officially ended up casting both of our child actors last week. They're so adorable. They're also very mature. They're exactly the, the looks and everything is exactly what we were looking for. I'm waiting for them to send me the contracts and make it official by signing the contracts. Their parents obviously have to sign with them. It's exciting. It, it's also crunch time now and I'm definitely starting to feel that. So yeah, there's a lot to do. My DP and my AD are on vacation this week. As soon as they get back, I've told them we have a lot of stuff to go over. So I'll update you guys with anything that happens today. Other than that, we're just plugging along day by day. Hey guys, I was out of town for a couple of days, but now that I'm back, and so I just got this in the mail a little bit ago. This is called a shell box. It uh, goes up to 15 meters, which is about, I think it's a little under 50 feet. So this is for the iPhone and it should fit my iPhone. I'm kind of taking a risk. I might end up using my personal iPhone on set. I'm not 
most people, you know, probably wouldn't do that, but that's why we're doing a test run. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to go over to a family member's house. I grew up with a pool in the backyard, so I'm going to go over to my mom's house, use her pool, see if it works for the underwater scenes. But this is what it looks like right now. I don't know if you guys can see this. What's inside is actually a paper towel. They tell you to put something like that. They actually said put a napkin inside it. Close it up, make sure everything is secure, and then put it in water for like an hour. So 60 minutes, and they say only if nothing is wet inside, only if you know the napkin or the paper towel is completely dry, can you use it. They said if it's not working, if it does get water inside, ship it back and ask them for a new one. So this is all I have to use right now is a blender machine. I'm just going to put this inside the blender. So here goes. Okay, this, you know what? Never mind. Plan B. It's too small. I would probably suggest something like a fish tank for another test run, but I'm gonna need more water. <laughs> if this works tomorrow, I will go and try this out in an actual swimming pool. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.